they can see you and relate to you because they've lived like you have. And they understand that too many folks in Michigan and across the country are still struggling to pay the bills. Now understand, wages are steadily growing. Inflation is slowing. But the price of everything from health care to housing to groceries is still too high. And that hurts. The question is, who's actually going to do something about it? All right, y'all already know the answer, but let me give it to you anyway. Do so, and, and this is, you have to do a little bit of homework, kind of examine their plans. So Donald Trump's plan is to give another massive tax cut to billionaires and big corporations. Do not boo. Boo. Now, now, I, I'll, I'll be honest with you, I've been talking to people around the country and sometimes I hear people say, well, you know, yeah, I know Trump's kind of goofy, but I, I, I do remember the economy when he first came in, it was pretty good. And I say, yeah, yeah, it was good because it was my economy. Remember it. I know folks, I know folks in Detroit remember it. I, I spent eight years cleaning up the mess that the Republicans left me. Y'all remember the auto industry in America was flat on its back. They didn't want to lift a finger to help. And we made the investments to reopen those factories and put people back to work. And by the time I left office, I handed over to Donald Trump 75 straight months of jobs growth. Yeah, the economy was good, because we did the work. And all, all he did was give a tax cut to people who didn't need one. Drove up the deficit in the process. Now he wants to do it again. Do not fall for that okie doke. Don't be bamboozled. <laughs> All right, so, so, so that's on the economy. When it comes to health care, Donald Trump's only, only answer is to end the Affordable Care Act. Now, do not boo. Now, if you ask him, hold on, hold on, hold on. If you ask him, he doesn't really even know why he wants to end it, except for the fact that I did it. So, but the problem he's got, the problem Vance has got, is it's now popular, right? Because 50 million people have gotten health care from it that didn't have it before. So, So, you all remember this, a couple weeks ago, uh, his running mate is debating Tim, and his running mate says, has the nerve, has the chutzpah, has the gall to say Donald Trump, quote, salvaged the Affordable Care Act. <laughs> Donald Trump spent his entire presidency trying to tear that thing down. And he couldn't even do that right. And now, eight years after he was elected, the moderator in the debate, y'all remember this, moderator says, all right, well, if you, if you take down the Affordable Care Act, what, what are you going to do? He, he said, well, I've got concepts of a plan for how we replace it. Concepts of a plan. Now, I, I, I want you all to think about this. Let's say your boss gives you an assignment. Says, look, I need it by Friday. So Friday rolls around. Your boss says, did you finish that project? And you say, well, actually, I haven't started. But I do have a concept of a plan. Or, 
<laughs> or, or you could try it at home. Honey, did you do the dishes? I have a concept of a plan to do the dishes. How's that going to go over? If it would not work for you, why should it work for the President of the United States? And the good news is, the good news is that Kamala Harris does not have concepts of a plan. She has an actual plan to make your life better. To bring down the cost of things like groceries. She'll go after corporations that are trying to jack up prices, just like she went after the big banks and for-profit colleges when she was the Attorney General in California. To lower housing costs, Kamala is going to cut red tape and work with state and local governments and the private sector to build three million new homes. She'll give first-time home buyers up to $25,000 to help with a down payment. Concrete plans. To lower health care costs, Kamala's already worked with Joe Biden to bring down the cost of insulin and more than 50 prescription drugs. She's going to do more. As president, she will not stop working to limit out-of-pocket costs and protect your care. And instead of giving more tax cuts to billionaires, raising prices on working families, Kamala's going to give a tax cut to people who need it, 100 million working class and work uh, middle class and work, working people here in America. You know, that, that's who Kamala is. That's, that's what she stands for, not concepts of a plan, but actual plans.